Do you need to speak Spanish in Spain? Um, I've sort of brought this up before, but I thought I'd do a revisit to it today. The answer to that, for many things, is yes. And even if you're sort of retired here, if you go further inland, you're going to be in areas where there's a larger, older Spanish population, and they don't speak English, the majority of people. Um, but even if you go into Madrid, Barcelona, whatever, you'll find a lot of people do not speak English or don't want to speak English. Um, so I do recommend learning Spanish. And on top of that, a lot of the jobs you ain't even going to get a look at unless you speak Spanish to at least some level. Now, one of the things I want to say is, obviously I'm learning Spanish myself, and I'm find, finding Duolingo now got to a point where it's not really doing much. Um, Memorize is working well. I've absorbed over 400 words in Memorize and that's, that's all sticking because I can put, I recall the words and stuff quite well. So that's, that's working really well. Um, and I will say Duolingo is the same, but I just find Duolingo has got a bit too repetitive now and doesn't seem to progress. Where I find with Memorize because it's got the videos is more useful. Um, but also, I come across some videos yesterday relating to someone else that basically has learned Spanish in a conversational way, and this is one of the things I want to stress. It's much easier to learn conversational Spanish than it is to actually go through the verb to be, learn all these words you'll never use. Um, I think on the basis of day-to-day -day conversation, I believe only about two and a half percent of the Spanish language you actually need to do about 95% of the conversations. So my emphasis, because I need to get my Spanish up to speed a bit faster than most, and this is why I'm sort of putting this out there as part of this video as well, is I recommend getting all your day-to-day -day conversations together. What's the sort of stuff you're gonna ask? You know, you know, how's it going? Uh, you know, things like, que tal? Um, and in response to it, it's sort of like uh, good, bien, or no muy bien, not very good. Th those sort of conversational things that you may use on a daily basis, the same as um, how much something is, or um, how do you buy a loaf of bread and stuff. Because a lot of the conversations you'll get from schooling and um, people from a teaching background, it, it's like it's robotic and I see it all the time in the corporate world because they're going well that's the way we were taught so that's the way they do it even though they know it doesn't actually work a lot of the time or it wastes your time because you're absorbing a lot of things you'll never need to know um, I mean for example it, it memorizes there's a few in there where you go through the sentences and it's gonna gone about the father-in-law mother-in-law all this sort of thing the odds of those coming up in a conversation are pretty slim anyway. But the other side of that being is, I would actually probably avoid even using those phrases. It's, um, you, you're, you're more likely to say, oh, this is my wife's um, father or whatever, rather than my father-in-law. You know, it's that sort of thing. So there's a lot of things that you, you can improve your Spanish very quickly by taking out the um, the fluff. There's too many words in there that you'll never use. But once you've got the structure and you've got the conversation pieces that you're going to use daily, then start adding the other bits afterwards. And the thing with that is you can learn Spanish about 10 times faster to a conversational level. Now, one of the hard bits is actually finding somebody that or you can sit in annoy and buy coffee um, to get them to pry Spanish out of you because one of the things I also want to put an emphasis on it is not them speaking to you it's you speaking to them so when they're sitting there going they're not telling you the answers you've got to recall them in your head and that's how you start getting to a point where it's conversational because you start recalling the words um, through conversation you are not sitting there waiting to be prompted when you're wrong or you know you're not you're not sitting there with the answer book it's a case of they'll try and prize it out of you and i want to put that out there that 
I think that's a far better way of doing it. And I did come across a video yesterday where a guy is on about teaching it that way. I'm going to speak to him today and see about his course or whatever. Because um, one of the things that I'll push is quite simply, I'm an ideal marketing tool in the sense that my Spanish isn't fantastic. But if his course, like he, he learned Spanish in seven weeks, um, bear in mind when they put seven weeks on about conversational Spanish, um, the point being is it is possible, but it is like it's, you know, it's only about two and a half percent of the language, but you fill in the stuff as you go. I mean, these, these, um, boxes here, what would you call them even in English? Never mind Spanish, but what would you call it in English? It's a prime example. You wouldn't need to know that on a daily basis. And somebody will come on and come up and say, oh, that's a such and such. And then that's it. You know what it is. Because it's not a hide. It's not a, um, might be a pigeon roost or something else. But the point is, there's a specific name to it. And unless you've seen one of those, you never need to know it. Um, so, yes, it's important to learn Spanish. And you'll find that you'll save money by knowing Spanish as well in Spain. Because when you engage with people, a lot of people here, especially on the coast, are too lazy to even learn about most basic Spanish. And I will say lazy, because I know it's frustrating, because I find it frustrating, but I, I need to do it. And at the same time, you guys should be doing it. Um, but you'll find that you're paying somebody to go and do something you could do yourself. Um, I mean, you're paying 20, 40 euros for something that literally is just filling in a form and taking it down. That's plus the administration, you know, you, you, you know, like I was saying, what it, the driving license stuff, it's literally, you just fill in the forms and then take them down there and then they just go through them and stamp them and give you it back. You don't even need to speak a word of Spanish as long as you fill the forms in. And if you're filling the forms in, you've got Google Translate right in front of you, you could do it yourself. But like I said, I've seen people charging 120 euros for that. Um, but also going through that process of filling in forms like that, you learn words like second name and date of birth and all the other bits and pieces that go on forms. And after you've done a few, you know what they all are. Because let's face it, forms are forms. Um, but anyway, I just want to put that out there today um, because I do think you will need to learn Spanish in some capacity. I do think it's worth focusing on conversational Spanish then written Spanish second I don't see the need to really push the verb to be but it is worth knowing uh, in the sense of if you can understand I being yo you being tu etc and going through them then you'll also recognize the structures of how things change um, in the, the structure of the sentences but in conversational Spanish a lot of that you are not really going to need a day one this is one of the things i was trying to understand with the verb to be when i was teaching people in english because i couldn't see the point of going over the verb to be if people are struggling to form a basic sentence what i mean is if i can tell you um john owns oh, opens the can of milk or whatever well john opens a can of milk i don't need to break the structure down um because that you go if the people ask well what 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 is john well john is the the person and because it's a man and he opened it it's he you know it, it's much more simple to use context and putting it in a way that people understand it rather than trying to force it um which i find a lot of academics like to push it that way but in the real world it's much easier to actually go out there and do it and that's why i want to say conversational spanish over getting a book memorize is useful to keep in the background because obviously you're going to generate a lot of um vocabulary um that you'll use you know like a bottle of beer or whatever you'll pick those things up but the the point being is getting the structure right you'll get conversation and then later on you can go back and start looking at the written stuff but at least if you've got it in conversations you know what you're using it it's not you sat there with an app it's not you sat with a book it's not you sat with a um, pen and paper 
you're actually going out there and using the Spanish, which means you're getting something out of it from day one. You're also finding that you're meeting people and integrating much faster. So I would say learning Spanish is very, very important. If you want to live here and integrate and get the best out of life in Spain, learn Spanish. Thanks for watching.